Hello, my name is Jonathan Tucker, and welcome to my video. Just doing a quick review of the Orbit Model 58322, letting you know why I bought this uh, sprinkler, as as if anyone would want to know. <laughs> but anyway, I love this sprinkler. Uh, we have quite an area that we mow and that we grow grass up on a hill, which our house sits on. And without an in-ground sprinkler system, it's very hard to water it in a way that it is uh, even. Last year we have a, a you know a couple of the normal typical sprinklers that shoot around in a circle, and uh, so I ended up with a bunch of circles all over the hill. So I did a little research. I was thinking of getting like four or five of those and making the parts for stands for them. But what I figured out is that if I did that, it would cost me quite a bit. So uh, like over a hundred dollars. So this sprinkler was about fifty, sixty bucks on uh, at Home Depot. And what I like about it is it uses the hose as a track. So basically you string up to 200 feet of hose out and it follows the hose back as it goes uh, along its route. And uh, it waters extremely evenly. Now I can set this up about 20, 25 feet away from the edge of where I want to water and it will make a uh, watering path almost 50 feet wide. Now my water pressure on my house, I have a five inch well and a three quarter horse pump. Um, it very quickly, you know, the pressure tank set at 60 PSI for shut off, 40 for turn on, and it cycles the pump very quickly. So when I'm running the sprinkler, it, it only takes it a few seconds to go from about uh, 40 PSI up back up to 60 when it drops. So I'm keeping a pretty steady pressure. I think the static pressure on the line is right around 35 to 40 uh, most of the time. And you'll see the sprinkler kind of pick up and slow down a little bit. And uh, that's a combination of its effort to pull the hose behind it, as well as the pressure fluctuation between 40 and 60 PSI. So the way this works, you'll look at the top um, and you'll notice that sound in the background is me moving in my chair, I apologize. The uh, arms on the top uh, are angled the correct direction to throw the water and also to make it move in the proper direction. Those are coupled to a, a worm gear and that worm gear turns a huge round gear and then that gear is attached to a reduction uh, gearbox which is metal on this model. And then that goes into the uh, wheels, you know, it's an axle. Feeds out to the wheels, and those tires have big spikes on them. We'll zoom in here in a second, and you'll see those big spikes. And those just dig into the sod, and it very slowly moves along. Now, um, this particular one moves at about uh, 30 to 35 feet an hour on high and about 17 to 20 an hour on low and I've just I've only run it on high because I haven't needed to water that much we've had quite a bit of rain in fact we're looking at thunderstorms later tonight I'm watering today even though we've had quite a bit of rain because we've got some loud loud vehicles in the background there going by sorry about that um, the wind has been pretty crazy here the last few days and it's drying the soil out really quickly so it's helped to have that thing watered and the water's nice and evenly so anyway and it's just plain cool this is my new entertainment you sit out on the porch and you watch the tractor slowly very slowly go by so anyway I was trying to put together a little something for this video I'm gonna probably add the part where I'm zoomed in and uh, we'll catch up with you guys later just wanted to show you this here little gadget it's pretty stinking cool all right thanks so here's the part where I'm zoomed in a little bit more and if you watch really closely you'll see the tines on the rear wheels just very slowly moving uh, I mean very slowly moving it takes it about 72 revolutions of the arms where the water comes out for the rear wheel to go around just one time. And it moves an high at about a foot every two minutes. Uh, maybe even just a little slower than that. Just depends on how the water pressure is doing, what else we got going on. In a second here, you'll see me 
uh, zoom in right there. Now if you watch closely those rear tines, you'll see those rear tines spinning once I, you know, calm down a little bit. I was trying to film this at night, uh, and the mosquitoes were just coming out. And I sprayed for mosquitoes the other day, and we've really cut the population down. But there's some pretty desperate mosquitoes out there. I might have to hit a few of the highlights again. I use a chemical called bifethrin, which is a pyrethroid. It's basically synthetic chrysanthemum oil. And I spray that under the trees and any tall grass and kind of do a perimeter around the house, anywhere that mosquitoes would like to hang out, which is basically anywhere they can get out of the sun and maybe get a drink of uh, water or a little bit of plant nectar from uh, drilling into a leaf of grass or something like that or a stalk. So they were kind of hit me pretty hard here trying to anyway. Somehow I managed to swat them all away and only get one bite, but it was right between two knuckles on my hand, and I'm sure this is extremely boring by this point, me telling you all this, but anyway, thus the shaky camera. That was a long, long explanation for a shaky camera. I just thought this was cool, and I wanted to make a little video to show whoever wants to see this. If you were thinking about getting a good sprinkler, that'll move. Um, the other thing about this sprinkler is it shuts itself off. There's a ramp. There's a lot of other videos about that. So you can just set it and forget it, and uh, so I'd recommend it to anybody. Thank you for watching.